Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, is everything all good? Uh, we'll see. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the Bandai stream on the 18th of July, 2022. That is a surprisingly later date. It is now slightly warmer in Sydney land, which means, uh, nothing really. It's apparently boiling in Europe. So if you're in Europe, good luck. That's all I can say. Uh, and if you're down under, then hopefully you're rugged up still, because it's a bit chilly sometimes, but at least in the sun, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, uh, this stream is gonna be, uh, a regular old, I'm playing that theme park game yet again kind of stream, but that's all good, because I in, I'm enjoying this game, and I think... I don't know, like, I, I think it's a bit of a weird one to, like, say, like, oh, the audience is enjoying it, that kind of stuff, but, like, legit, real talk, like, just, just broadly about YouTube metrics, the click-through rate is, like, surprisingly pretty good on Theme Park World videos. I don't know, I think people have been striving for it, so, uh, if you're enjoying the streams, then cool, and if you're not, well, too bad, because here's more of it. So, uh, yeah, no. So in the last stream, I played the Halloween world, and in this stream, I'm playing the... Well, we'll get to it. And also, I I have not appropriately named the stream. Oh, I've got this video again. We're gonna watch it anyways, why not? Actually, no. I didn't show this one last time. He just lets him go at it for a bit. And he's very dead. I used to get terrified by, like, those kinds of rides. The Especially the ones where it's like, um... Like, the ones where it's like, they spin around, and so you, you've, you've got your centripetal force pushing you all the way back into the wall. And then they start angling in, like, weird ways. But because you're back up against the wall, you really can't, like, tell. Um, but it's like you're receiving so much, like, force pushing yourself back down into the thing. They used to terrify me because of that specific clip. I think a lot of the theme park stuff. So we're not doing the space zone just yet. We're doing Wonderland. I quoted XTC in my tweet, and I'm we're gonna start it. It's a fun sign. Uh, but this is the Wonderland park. This requires three keys in order to enter. Um, which is six tickets worth, basically. Uh, but since Welcome you to well. Wonderland. A land of enchanting amusement, where logic and proportion have taken a holiday. So, if you're looking for really big thrills, <clears throat> step inside the park where fun comes in only one size. Extra large. Okay, sure. Uh, this park's a bit weird because uh, there's, a, the park, there's a big worm <clears throat> in the way. Like, the, the to build park... <clears throat> goes a bit, but the to worm the park, is in the way. I think it's the only glass. park that's like that. Mm. Um, he's gonna be clearing his throat yet again. I can't afford the mystery ride, uh, but <clears throat> we'll, we'll build <clears throat> the first <clears throat> steps, which is Bumper Bugs. Check that out. It's it's the same as the hot pot, isn't it? We've got the same kind of uh, rough thing. We already got the coaster Just as well. <clears throat> already sitting there. First you so. the blue <laughs> to build. <laughs> that's a bit interesting, but that's okay. Uh, do I have the music side? Ooh. If I don't have the music, I've got to restart. Welcome to Wonderland. There you go, okay. I know you got- I, I know that sounded- that seemed kind of weird. Legit, I've got this weird bug. Uh, I guess, uh, ant size game, but, uh, there's this weird issue I've had just when trying to replay the game, where, like, sometimes the music doesn't work, and that persists for the whole save. Unless you restart it. So I'm hearing stuff, so I'm like, you're gonna feel like you want that. Music, I, so you're gonna thank me for wasting 30 seconds path, of your time. Just, <clears throat> but don't worry, to build it'll be path. all good. Uh, we'll build the paths, <clears throat> and then flower this power is, is a, another centrifuge ride of some kind. Let's actually put it at the top. Second, if over here. Is, <laughs> uh, greetings, build Mr. Blood. You'll be gone soon. Run to the store, get some snacks. Ooh, can you get me some? <laughs> get me uh, one of those. Um, burger rings is actually like. My guilty pleasure. I know people hate burger rings, but I I really enjoy burger rings. 
First you move now this is a kind of interesting uh, map layout as well, because note how it goes way down to the left. So I feel like this is where you let's dedicate a bit of like up. Well, this area is probably going to go up a bit. The bottom left part of the screen. But burger, the no, no, burger rings like they're rings. And I'll tell you more. Round things, but that burgers. On the left side uh, of the panel they're just they're like the onion rings, are. but they supposed to taste like burgers. It's it's a bizarrely Australian food. And people are so polarized on it here, but legit, I am a sucker for them. I will eat burger rings all day. Um, I'm surprised that they don't exist uh, in other places, because a lot of our um, snacks are just, like, Australian versions of American brands. Um, why is my rotate button? Should be Z. Is it not Z? Why, why am I not rotating? Why am I not rotating? Hold on. Yeah. That is kind of bizarre. I can't rotate. I'm gonna... Ooh. hold on. <laughs> Let's just double check. I'm pretty sure... yeah, no. That, that shouldn't change anything. Let's exit the lobby and load back in. Uh, I, I might be making a full rotation. Oh, I'm dropping 50 million just frames. That is just because... First, wow. Fun can begin. Yeah, no, there's a lot of lot of frames dropped because of the network just then. Ooh. Okay. Beware, everyone. My network is having a, a little bit of this yoinky swanky moment. Um, for reference as well, the stream VOD, I do upload directly. No, okay. Hold on. Let's cut to intermission. Let's Let's restart the game in like two seconds. Man, this the intermission music is so much louder than the game was. Isn't it? It takes no time to restart the game. <laughs> it closes on a heartbeat, it starts up in a heartbeat, it's amazing. Um, I was gonna say, I went to a, uh, a book fair. Um, the other, uh, day. And I got myself a copy. Because, because, like, some people will throw out, like, games in that. And I'm like, sure, okay, you know, it happens. Um, and, uh, one of the games that I found was a box copy of Unreal Tournament 2004. Uh, and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I pick it up, it's a little heavy. Um, some people who know Unreal Tournament 2004, there's, uh, there's a copy, there's a version of the game where it's all CDs, and a version of the game where it's a single DVD. This was indeed the DVD version. The rotator's not working. Uh, I've got my save. I'm going to restart the park and see if that fixes it. Welcome to Wonderland. A land of enchanting no, music. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. My rotator's not working. Very bizarre. And just just to just to know, I, I can indeed type Z. Use the plus and minus buttons on so, this to adjust the ticket price. Or you can Oh, uh, did I change keyboard? I can, I can try every key. It's going to tell me off for hitting R, because I can't research. Uh, I'm still <laughs> highlighting this. Camcorder. Let's just pick that again. Hey, do you know about the theme park world Golden It's apparently tickets? dot and a comma. Special currency that you can use I to buy thought it was Z like the whole time. Rides, maybe maybe I'm going insane. Normally Who knows? Okay, someone's gonna yell at me because I was hitting the wrong like key. I restarted the game just just because I was hitting the wrong key. Um, but uh, yeah, no, they had a box version of if you're Unreal Tournament 2004, icon, and I love Unreal Tournament 2004. I played it a bunch on Steam. The of the um, and then I I pick it up. It's a bit heavy. It's the DVD version, so there should be one DVD, and that's the game. Uh, this is a bit cursed, by the way, having bricks above byland, clear land. Just because it's an alphabetical list. People want to come in, oh, but yeah, your park sure is thing. closed. You should think about opening up. I know I don't have staff yet. Let's have staff. Uh, David Byrne, he's back. Um, and uh, so this I opened it up, and <laughs> inside was a disc of <clears throat> Halo 2 for the Xbox. This is where you. And come it's just like sitting there. <laughs> What's that surname? Linefelner. Ooh. <laughs> Does anyone know any Linefelners? That'd be kind of interesting. I love the flower guy. It's kind of neat. Uh, they're probably going to complain because I don't have security cameras. Or bins. Right next to the food shop, so they're going to be littering a ton. Make sure that's there. 
uh, put another mushrooms, put another security camera here. And then, uh, so yeah, so there was You've already Halo 2 inside Do you want to this thing. So I, I bring it up to the front and they're just like, you know, like I, I tell them, it's like, you know, there's two games in here. I this couldn't find a box for Halo 2 though, so like, I don't know, it must have, maybe it was with the original thing, and given that they're both 2004 games, and they're both shooters, I'm more inclined to believe that they were, like, always together. Uh, so I told them that, and they said, do you want it? Because it's a book fair, it's like, they kind of just want to get rid of it. And I was like, sure. And, uh, I bought it for two bucks. Which I feel like is an absolute steal. Um, one, to just have a disc of Halo 2, and then to also... That is a lot of happiness, wow. Um, and then also to have a boxed version of Unreal Tournament 2004 with it, so... Check out your local book fairs, all the time. Anytime anyone's throwing away stuff, like garage sales are, are an option, but like, just go for it, just, just give them a visit. Because you'll, you'll be surprised, people will find out stuff that, you know, you might find valuable. And granted, there was a lot of stuff there, and a lot of it is books, and there were a lot of old people there looking for books. Uh, let's get that roller coaster in while we're at it. Candy coaster. Uh, I want to say I can pull it off by being to build the queue. here. Extend the blue. <laughs> You'll need to build pylons to support this kind of track. Click on the I have not done a crazy pylon, long coaster, and the track will be joined to it. If you click on an existing pylon, another one will stack on top. Clicking the other end of the ride will complete the track. Ah, uh, oh. The buttons that's a... on the control panel all right, are no, they're all good. make changes to the pylons. Click them, and I'll tell you more. I know. I'm going flat. I'm adjusting the height later. There we go. So yeah, no, check out your book fairs, because lots of, lots of good stuff there. Oh, can I not? <sighs> Can't circle it back. What's the undo button? Delete. Backspace. This is a real, real doozy of a coaster, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Perfect. Visitors find your ticket price is very cheap. Uh, it does not look nice them. clipping through the buildings. I'm going to fix that in a moment. I just gotta up the price. And then I'm gonna correct that uh, a bit. Pretty much as long as it doesn't... On this screen, you can yeah, like it says track invalid. So you gotta like go exactly. in and then uh, adjust the bits. So this is clipping itself. So you wanna... Just the height there. Let's up that. <laughs> That's the only bit that looks really off. Yeah, the rest of it works, though. Uh, apart from this is probably going to, like, kill some kids. And that is totally clipping the pylon. But if you ignore... Actually, that's not clipping the pylon. Because this is a little... It goes through. So, it's actually a somewhat functioning path that goes around and comes around uh, and then we can chuck some stuff but it doesn't tick the box of it's a long coaster I was hoping I could get that I should probably take a loan at like one point and just like push that over the limit let's tilt it like some real like jank ways Some good tilt to make the ride, make Your it the ride having a great really time. fun. Keep up the good work. I want to actually give it a ride at some point. You may be going, did you just like doom your ride by making it cost so much? Yes, maybe. <laughs> I might have. Let's chuck the mystery ride in while we're at it. Oh, it's a small one. Oh, of course it's the, it's the flight ride. They're always... That's three for three so far. They've all been the flight rides. There we go. Okay, let's give this thing a ride. <clears throat> so just at the start. Oh my gosh, hi there. How are you doing? How are you going? Oh my goodness. 
I have dropped a bajillion frames based on the network, so this is, uh... <laughs> for those of you watching, yeah, I, I apologize for the drop frames. I, oops, and the drop pylons that seem to dip out of view. Um... There we go. So there's a nice peruse. Ah, oh, the camera clips into the track. Ah, oh. <laughs> nice. Well, there's a bit of motion, a bit of going up and a bit of going down. And then you go right on top of the bumper ride. A bit, maybe too close to the bumper ride. Okay, and then you actually clip one pylon. Sure. I seem to have, like, no momentum in any of my roller coasters. Like, if there's one thing that's, like, really cool about Roller Coaster Tycoon, it's that you feel like you've made a good circuit because it actually flows and has momentum going properly. This is not going properly. I'm not talking about the fact that the track is all pretzel, but also because, like, half my track is chain lifts. Like, the moment it's picking up speed, it's immediately slowing down. And I swear, like, I think, I, I want to say you can do loop-de-loops, but I'm not sure if I'm just, like, thinking of the sequel. This bit feels like it would go fast, though. Just this one bit. But it's like, oh, now we're at the end of the ride, which is all filled with candy. So, okay, sure. Uh, let's hire Richard Steer. Richard Steer, let's steer him to victory. Uh, and let's pay the staff a little bit more. I know, but they they do need training. Otherwise, things are going to take forever. This is weird. <laughs> Other than that, it's the same old, same old game. Uh, and <laughs> bonus points, just just for note, like I I I already own Unreal Tournament 2004 on Steam. I also already own the Master Chief Collection, so I, I've got a copy of Halo 2. It's not the original copy, but you know, the PC version is probably just a straight superior version, um, or your Xbox One version. Um, and obviously it doesn't have Xbox Live um, naturally. Maybe there's a, a fan-made service uh, to handle it, but I know you've got to like get secret keys out of your Xbox. So basically mod your Xbox, rip the keys out, and then be able to register on the server with them. Uh, I tried it for Project Gotham Racing, it's it's a lot of effort, and I was like, yeah, I don't quite have the, uh, quite the tooling to do that just yet. You gotta get those kids to come in. Heck yeah. Oh, I forgot to name the park. Uh, what's, what's a wondrous land? Uh... Can I do in the land down under? Super Mario Galaxy Land? 15 degrees down under. Hey, there you go. Very enticing with this kind of sign and this <laughs> wonderful aliasing going on. USSR Land? You don't know where you are. Back in U.S. Back in U.S. Back in U.S.S.R. Am I showing my age by quoting the Beatles? I got a. <laughs> that was a that was a live hell right there. Oh, beautiful. Ah, uh, <laughs> so good. Um. Yeah, I always feel like I show my age, like I, I, I cite, like, a lot of, like, my music tastes, I've, I've mentioned this a few times, a lot of my music tastes are, like, albums that are 50 years old. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, like, ping all my friends because one of my favorite albums of all time, Close to the Edge, is about to be 50 years old in, uh, October. And it's like, it's like, when I was growing up, like, music that was 50 years old, um, was Elvis. It was like ancient, and it, like pretty much pre Elvis. It's like I don't know, man. You got a lot of nice singers, but like the music was very music to listen to or music to dance to. And I mean, I mean, Elvis is still kind of the same boat. Um, that's almost going to probably cite like oh, there were bands before the Beatles, as the Beach Boys, which is 
cream de crop compared to compared to the Beatles. And I'm like, uh, they're both good in different ways. Uh, Age of Empires 2 had a full version of the intro. A full version of the intro. I don't think I've actually seen the Age of Empires 2 intro. We've got trouble, oh yeah. <clears throat> a raid is about it's been down. seven days and I've forgotten that the whole point of this game is to <laughs> click on rides right. that need repairing <clears throat> constantly. And also click on your toilets. This screen lets you see the <clears throat> Which you can rename. I don't know why. This screen lets you see it's probably good to number them. Uh, I've played Age of Empires 2. I've played the 2013 Steam version. Um, but I never played the 1999 version if it's got a different intro. Um, games did have epic intros back then though. Like, um, there was another game I played recently. I played, um, The Legacy of Kane, uh, Soul Reaver. And, uh, yeah, no, that game's got a great intro. And that's also a 1999 game, so. There you go. Again, love this music. It's got a nice little theme. And that's a lot of kids coming in. Cool. Oh, what? They hate the price now. Darn cheapo kids. Do they just hate the price if the park is called 15 degrees down under? <sighs> I gotta accept 45 degrees. Uh, uses the Conqueror's expansion intro. Are they still? One guy's, one guy's accepted it. Come on, you all can accept that. Okay. The Age of Kings intro is not the full, full thing. Yeah, it's kind of weird when, like, um, remasters of games don't quite preserve every single detail. Like, I... I keep... I, I've mentioned this a few times. I... I that is going to be my catchphrase of today. I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned this... It's a new stream. I gotta, I'm just going to say it. Um, but yeah, I, I hate how, uh... Yeah, some new versions of games, it's just like they lack certain features. Or they make, like, a UX change and it's just like, why did you actually need to do that? Um... So, the full intro was uploaded to YouTube by some guy who said he got it from a version of Born 2000 or something in Poland, which apparently was a pre release version and got leaked to some. Ah, pre release versions are amazing. Do you want to know the secret of getting the most out of your employees? Give them some direction. Age of Mythology was guilty of that. Oh, like they cut out so much stuff. Let's chuck a small flower and people will come to the park now. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait, hang on. That's a really We've small... Searched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah, ah, that's good too. That's good too. Is that other ride about to, like, completely die? Ooh, my gosh, catch that! Catch that ahead of time. Woo! Woo! That's a bit close. That's a bit close. Uh, this is a cool ride as well. It's like a little roller coaster that keeps going around. Luckily, they re-rolled the changes from the campaign. They did not cut out stuff. They added some, but then it was suddenly in the campaigns, which luckily they removed again. Like, they had pre-release stuff in the game, or...? I'm trying to think, what's a... You gotta go uh, go to the story before it gets too hot. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, get, watch watch the heat. The heat's gonna, gonna totally feel absolutely gnarly. I get caught out sometimes whenever it's like 38 down here Celsius, so... The fact that it's like 40-something in like parts of England, and especially parts that like don't expect it... Oh my gosh! That ride is fixed because it's got struck by lightning. The Steam version. Ah, Age of Mythology Steam version got a bad expansion and the faction's got new units. I was gonna say, yeah, uh, all those games, like, the, the Steam versions kept getting updates. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of another game where, uh, they, um... Where, uh... <sighs> It's like this. I, I'm just gonna say Shadow Man. I think I mentioned it last week, but I was like, I love how they're re-adding in cut content uh, into into that game. That's great. Oh, they ruined. Oh, they they added stuff and it ruined experience. Ah, okay. At least at least with Shadow. Well, actually, not at least with Shadow Man. You can't play the original version, which is a little bit disappointing. But I'd honestly say every change that they've done is for the better, except. One of the new levels is kind of disturbingly large. The the uh, it goes into like a cave. It's one of the the killer levels, um, and it's like you're at a um, I guess an amusement park or something or, or or a summer camp I think. And then it like 
goes into a mine at the end, and it's such a lengthy level. It's such a long one. Do you want to know the secret of the um, most problem with Age of Mythology as I was early 3D, the expansion feels like a mod. Try what year was it? It was like 2002, years. was it? It's it's early for like top-down games. Like I'd honestly say this one's kind of surprisingly 3D. The, the this game that I'm playing right now, um, Edge M Edge of Empires 2. They did in 2013. Uh, doesn't quite fit the look. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a tough thing. I don't think anyone is ever going to recreate like the early polygonal look accurately in anything really. Um, I feel like chucking this here is a little bit of a waste. Let's put it right here. There you go, it's just some bricks with a snail on it, that's cool. Like the Shadow Man stuff seems to work, although you do get your modern looking things on top of it, so it's like a, it's clearly a HD remaster of a game that is old. Um, oh for real, okay. <laughs> um, it's clearly a remaster of a, of a, game that's sorry it's it's clearly got the the modern bells and whistles of some things maybe you should research um some more. but i'll definitely keep plugging it it's uh it's it's on the uh is it a, is it a kex engine game i think it is i think it is it's got samuel villarreal in there somewhere absolute legend no idea how he does it um so yeah uh I have, I wrote down the controversial item of the week to discuss, and I've completely blanked out on where I wrote that down, uh, but it will probably come to my mind. Ah, I've remembered it. Okay, controversial item of the week. That seems to be a, a recurring segment. I don't know, I feel like I've got like lukewarm tastes on like anything mildly controversial. I sometimes say things like not necessarily, uh... I don't know, like, I, I feel like, I don't know, I'd say some things that, like, might offend, but it's just like, oh my gosh, what the heck? These, this is the most offensive thing, these kids going 45 bucks too much. This is going to be the end of me, the fact that I can't get these ticket prices. Prices? These messages help you stay on. <laughs> just accept the money. I can't even click on them because they're not in the park. I would rather turn down a bunch of kids who think they're too spoiled and don't want to like go into the park. I, I actually it could be like a product of the park rating. No. What would it be? Park value? Because there's park value over here, which goes down. Try setting the patrol areas. So I've got to effectively just add some value to the. Easy value. Actually, I had to pay money for that. On this screen, <laughs> that didn't really add value, did it? Not really. It's, it's a new, it's a new thing. This screen shows all kinds of information about your park and its visit. <clears throat> this it's new. It's got value, guys. Come on. Clicking the buttons above and beside the graph. <laughs> oh, this, this is this is gonna be a painful one, isn't it? Granted, all I gotta do is last two years and then get um, between one to three golden tickets. I would like to get five golden tickets just so I could show off the mystery ride. I know in the next park it's also two tickets for the first ride and four for the second one. So uh, I'm gonna be struggling if I'm gonna show off that mystery ride. Um, but the, I'm, I'm not really like 100%ing, I'm just kind of doing like, here's a fun casual stream on each of the parks at this point. Which does unfortunately mean that like, th there's only four parks in this game. This is the third park. And uh... But uh, I, I think people do enjoy the last park, so... Okay, we're, we're gonna need some patrol areas and another... Another guy. Let's get Chris. Okay, Chris, you are. It looks like you want to set this employee's patrol area. Yeah, uh, man in the stations the down want, here, what? and then where's the other guy gone? David Byrne is going like from. This is a fun, area. fun zone to First, pick. Click on the ground where We're you going from here to here. <laughs> uh, people are saying the toilet well, is stinky. Not really. Happy. Everyone's Keep saying something stinky over here. What is stinky here? 
Someone just like thrown up there. I think Visitors I need another really toilet. Happy and they're buying tons of they are buying tons of balloons because well, I balloons put a much, I put a balloon a store right right there. I picked it up, popped it down. It's a new store. Easy. Um, yeah, I, I I sometimes go like I don't know how to handle people getting offended by by things because like sometimes I I'll say like strong opinions on like which games I like and which ones I don't um and I feel like I don't know at the end of the day it's like they're just games a new shop has like been researched. I I I keep saying very openly I absolutely abhor the first Borderlands uh, I know one person who took that very personally and I. Apologize that you take it personally, but like legit, I just, I don't get it. Um, but then it's just like you know, I'll I'll love certain games. I love Metroid Prime, and if you don't get it, sure, that's fine. I I will try my best to convince you that the game is great. But you know, it's 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 your opinion and it's my opinion. That's the whole point. So let's get into the opinion that uh, will get me shanked this week. Uh, Unity has announced. Um, oh, I'm actually gonna get my phone so I can get the exact company. Uh, but Unity, as in Unity 3D, has announced a partnership with a company called Iron... Um... Uh, I've, I've typed Iron, I haven't Look got the, the thing. You've Iron Source. To break down. Uh, Iron Source is apparently a advertising platform of some variety, I think. This uh, and is for and Unity people. has there's a young scallywag going round popping kids balloons. He's pooping kids guard, balloons. Put a stop to it. Do they do they link the kid? They link the scene of the crime. These message. <clears throat> I feel so powerless. I can't <clears throat> do anything about the kid who's popping balloons because you can't even click on the kids. Kids, like, they've probably got individual like allowances and stuff. But unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon, it's like you can't do anything about it. You only oh. Except I, he has picked up a guy. He has picked up a guy. Those buttons on the control. There you go. Good on him. Good on him. Click a button to find a particular kind of worker. Imagine Keep the disrespect. To, find other workers of that type. to just get chucked out of the park, immediately run Click across a lane. highway, and then just oh, he's just about to pop one kid's last balloon. What's he doing? He's, he's taking the boat off Duelist Island. Duelist Kingdom. There you go, new people. Can I up the value slightly? Are you gonna let me do that? This screen shows information. No, my park it. value keeps going down. Why? I think it's because I spent all that money on the ride, on the roller coaster. Immediately. That one's my bad. I should have been trickling up the money instead of spending it all up, up front. But I can't build a candy cane, so maybe that'll help. I don't have really great spots, because I want to put something over here. Uh, so, yeah, so Iron Source uh, is an advertising tool. Uh, people notoriously know of Iron Source as uh, a company that engages in adware. They have installers, or at least they've, they've bundled... Uh, weird adverts in installers that will prompt you at later points in time so much so that malware bites and I think uh, There's another page Virus total they've got like pages going like yeah, no the, this company and this specific like kind of executable We detect it. We say it's bad. You know, it's it's not good. So anyway unity's done a partnership with them uh, which will mean something in terms of advertising and there's some fun corporate speak in the article in their blog post that they have as an agreement I'm gonna read out some of these um, the, there's there's like these general statements that like you know I, I'm, I'm gonna be a bit cynical here but I'm just gonna gonna go like you know what, what does this mean I'll read it out we continue to believe that the world is a better place with more creators in it over the past year, we've been making sure we have the right tools and focus that are delivering the most value to our user community, particularly as the industry evolves. Today, games don't launch, they live. Players want connection. They want to play with each other and be social. And we see that these trends are extending beyond gaming. Oh my gosh, these kids are going crazy. Uh... So, yeah, Unity's spoken about the other acquisitions they've done. Um, 
Your scientists have come up with a new ride. Heck yeah, new ride. Ah, oh, jelly bounce. It's a bouncing castle ride, but it's a little bit bigger than the other bouncing castle rides. Do I chuck it up here? Let's chuck it up here. Why not? It's a plate of jelly. How cool is that? Also, I gotta come up with some ride names. Uh, okay, legit. There, there has to be loop de loops in this game. There's loop de loops on this, on this picture. Uh, also, let's just up the capacity. I don't care. Uh, I was just like, oh, let's just glance for the rest. Oh boy, that has already broken down twice. I guess it's already October of the first year, though, isn't it? Um, candy, uh, coaster, um, pretzel. Uh, pretzel, bon, 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 uh, pretzel on the wrestle, pretzel on the wrestle, <laughs> this is, that's, uh, is that like mildly offensive? I don't know, pretzel on the wrestle, pretzel on the wrestle, okay, um, I'm gonna read out another paragraph from the thing, uh, so, okay, if you don't know Iron Source, they bring a proven record of helping creators focus on what creators do best, bringing great apps and user experiences to life, while enabling business expansion in the app economy. Iron Source's suite of tools and solutions provides the majority of the world's top games, and many of the leading non-gaming apps with the monetization, marketing, and, uh, Anal oh, sorry, marketing, comma, analytics, and discovery capabilities they need to build and run scalable app-based businesses. The combination of both companies will accelerate Unity's growth as a software company, powering the creator economy end-to-end. -end. For our community, it will drive tighter integration between Capital Operate and Capital Create solutions and deliver the best potential combination of value to creators, publishers, and advertisers in games and beyond. Like, okay, so one, I know Unity actually does get used in Some little quite a... Has put a stink bomb oh, he's pooped oh, next he's to the balloons. People get sick. Honestly, he's on it, he's on it, quick. The researcher's gone, hmm, yeah, that's an interesting device you've, you've got there. Um, but yeah, the, uh... Unity, like, I, this is a very corporate post, and I feel like most acquisition posts are like that, because it's like, we are announcing our acquisition, please buy our stock or investment or anything into the, our company, we don't actually have anything to, a, to an end user. Like, acquisitions don't actually mean anything other than if you're a fan of the original, like, I, like company. Um, so they bought Parsec a while ago, and I know people talk, talked about Parsec, um, in decently good praise. Um, a fair while ago, but then it's just like, yeah, I mean, if you're upset about certain companies acquiring things, I don't think it's like the absolute worst, but I do think that a lot of these companies should just like, sometimes you should ride it. I feel like Parsec could have done well on its own. It didn't really need to bunch up with Unity. Um, same thing, people are talking about the, like the Beth Bethesda Xbox acquisition from like a year ago, and it's like, I don't know, man. Bethesda's a massive company. I... I don't necessarily think they would have not made money. Uh, let's see how the park rally's going. Well, it's this still going down. Shows information about your finances. Clicking the buttons I am the glad I still have Facebook Messenger open. I apologize to everyone who just thought they had a Facebook period. message. That one's me. That one's on me. I, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I usually make sure that all of my... all of my background noises are not on, and that was one that was just so happened to be on. Cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of corporate speak in this, uh, but uh, the, in particular, I guess the thing is that like this company's suite of tools, like they've kind of written about this as if I'm already aware of their suite of tools, because um, like yeah, what does this mean as a developer? Like I guess the suite of tools leads to more money. They keep talking about growth. They keep talking about em uh, powering the creator economy, running scalable app-based businesses, marketing analytics, like, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff in that, but it's like, I don't know, I'm a bit of, I'm a, bit of a jaded guy, and it's like, man, you know, like, new side show. Okay, there it's we not go. Cure for a nasty disease, but it's something. It's something. Uh, 
So I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit... A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature Ooh, as double. I <gasps> just run to the feature Heck yeah. and my nose, or let's sit down on this feature and take a load of... Heck yeah, chuck a donut in there. That will increase the park value tons. A new set of sideshows, a new frontier in entertainment appears before us. How's the money in? Uh, it's not atrocious, but it's... Is that, is that really shop taking? So it's actually making the money and not the ticket gate? Wow. Maybe I should up the value of the shops. People are incredibly upset that everything's now like... No one's happy about the ice cream shop anyways. Listen, let's make a little bit more moolah though, because that's apparently where people are going. What is this sound I'm hearing? The balloon shop? It's a bit of a scary balloon shop if I'm not gonna lie. But I think people are going to accept $35. Sorry, uh, $50 for the sale price. Because, hey, that, I mean, that, that doesn't seem as much relative to the value that I actually get out of it, which is, that's a $30 price, and instead of $15 return, I get 20 bucks. So, that's actually gonna be pretty good. Get some more from the gate as well, but... Maybe I should be paying attention to that, because usually I was looking at the money out and going like, oh, that's above everything else. But I should be looking at, like, where's the money coming in from? And it seems Sideshows is never really it, but the shops, certainly. Maybe that's my problem. I bundle all my shops here instead of just, like, putting more shops all around. One shop, the only problem is that one shop doesn't exactly make a ton of money. Like... Like, uh... Yeah, it's like profit last month, 120, 500, the balloon shop is pretty good, but it's also like, eh, it's 1,500, that's gonna take like half a year for that to pay off. Um, maybe the earlier you chuck them in, the better. Again, people are saying something is poopy around here, but what is it? Is it because of the frog? You can view the details of miscellaneous... <clears throat> it's because of the frog, okay. Uh, I got one last remaining bit out of, uh... You've built all of the available features. Maybe you should... Uh, out of this, uh, blog post, and I thought this would be, um... One of your rides is about to break No, don't down. do it. Take don't cover. do it. Don't, don't die. I'm trying I to read Unity. You could fix it. Blog. Ah, Pretzel on the Wrestle is also gonna break. No, don't do that. Let's check the capacity up. Why, why is it not eight? <laughs> Ups the capacity on everything. Why is ever all my rides breaking? This ride's cool, by the way. I just... Just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so neat, I love it. Um, so there's this bit, they've got a big bold sentence. Redefining the game engine. This is more than ads. Uh, with Iron Source, Unity will take the linear process of making games and RT 3D content and experiences, I assume real time 3D, so just non-game stuff that uses the engine, basically. Uh, and make it an interconnected and interactive one, creating the opportunity to innovate and improve at every step of the cycle. What if the process was no longer first create, then monetize? Ding, 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 ding. There's some red flags going on. Uh, what if creators had an engine for live games that by default enable them to gain early indicators of success for their games through user acquisition of their prototype and gave them a feedback loop to improve their games based on real player interactions as early in the process as possible. Now, okay, so I'm going to take a step back. The idea of monetization, well, sorry, let's, let's not say monetization. The idea of measuring analytics in games at useful points is not... Like, it's not a... Oh, the donut! No! That didn't indicate I was getting rid of the donut. Let's pop the donut back in. I need the donut. Very important. Very important. Uh, did I have another feature I got, or...? No, okay. Do I buy another...? They're all, like, low-value stuff. Uh... I'd show takings went up. Why? Is it, oh, it's the slot machine. Can view and edit the details no, the actually, they're all the screen. same. Move the sliders to change oh, the, the slot machine, machine profit. Just good. The cost of <laughs> We've got We've trouble, got trouble boss. boss. A ride is about to break I down. I got it. I got it. Cool. 
You've got a lot of happy visitors, and it's almost won you a golden ticket. Put smiles on I feel like I got a golden ticket way ages ago um, in the other ones. I've already got 100 people in the park. Oh, because it's different objectives in this park. You don't get as many tickets in these parks. You could win a ticket. That's the bit that kind of gets you. Is that there's, there's not as many loose tickets in these later parks. They up the the demands. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna have to work for these tickets now. As long as okay, as long as by the end of the stream I have one extra key, it's not the worst. It's not the end of the world. I don't I don't know how many things. Um, so yeah, so okay, so having analytics in your games, having like things you analyze and go, ah, oh, okay, like people enjoy this bit, people don't enjoy this bit. Um, even things that like you can get direct feedback. This looks like chaos. This looks like chaos being on this bumper bumper cart ride. That is a very happy caterpillar. That is not a caterpillar. Well, that's a caterpillar. This is a ladybug. Look at that person getting some wicked airtime. Well, like legit. Like imagine going on a bumper cart, and one seeing that kid, and then two. Like, let's see how this plays out. They're gonna turn me around at some point, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like imagine just like pelting at people. Just constantly ramming like everyone because there's way too many cars. <laughs> there's way too many times, and then it's over in a in a heartbeat. You get ten seconds. You get ten seconds. You gotta make. You can't even make that more fun. It's too fun. It's too fun. Um. So yeah, analytics not the worst, but I I I don't like the corporate speak. First of all, I don't like the idea of like how like. You know, what if the process was no longer first create then monetize? Like, me as a consumer, I'm very critical of like early access and just like, um, <laughs> another live puke. Um, early access, uh, anytime like games as a service as a thing. Like, I'm a bit of a traditionalist in terms of just like my game should be. What is going on here? My game should just be, you know. A game. I buy a thing, and that thing is as good as, um, <clears throat> you know, as good as it should be. Pretty much. I don't know. Like, oh, he's telling me that again. Uh, so I, I'm a bit like that. Games as a service kind of spooks me because it's like the thing I buy may not be as good as it, you know, at a later point in time. Um, I'll note examples like. Uh, Your scientists have unlocked the mysteries of a new ooh. show. <laughs> We're saved. We're saved. Uh, I <laughs> can't slot it in anywhere here. Let's just chuck it. Chuckers. Look out! Look out! She's gonna blow! You've got a ride that's about to break down. I got, I got a ride that's about to break down. It's not broken down yet, fortunately. This is a list Keep of an bombs. eye out for <clears throat> bumper bugs, though. Uh, <laughs> Whiplash Simulator, there you go. Just speaking of Whiplash, I saw um, a video of uh, Robert Fripp and his wife playing Psychosocial. And uh, I, I only, I'm gonna warn people, uh, I, f I don't know who Robert Fripp's wife is, unfortunately. She is a, a musician of some kind. Um, She's she's wearing like the hearts on her boob nipples and then like a very see-through top. And it makes me a little uncomfortable, <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? Like sometimes it's good for the meme, because because Robert's like such like a like like a straightforward, no nonsense kind of guy. And then it's just like he does quirky things and he just straight faces it. It's great. I love him. Um, yeah, okay, all these rides are rides, and there goes all my money in, because what happened? No one bought anything from a shop the entire month. I think you gotta take, like, the... I was gonna say the three years, but it doesn't condense the months. <laughs> I'm not getting a rolling average, I'm just getting that, so... Uh, so analytics are kinda, kinda thing, uh, games as a service. Let me, <laughs> let me actually finish my thought. Um, so... Yeah, my biggest problem with games as a service is that, like, the value of the game, like, it's it's unknown. As in, what 
what value of the game is when I buy it, what value of the game is when I play it, and what value is the game when I don't play it. Man, they really hate this era. Um, but there's so many games out there where uh, they... Wow, that's a lot of money from the gift shop, isn't it? Let's up it to 80 bucks. You've got a lot of happy visitors, and it's all. Oh my gosh, he keeps telling me about that, but. What's going on, on here, man? People aren't in the park. People aren't in the park, bro. Although they are staying in the park a bit more, so. Um. Has the value gone up, at least? <gasps> Maybe I can. Maybe now's my chance. Ugh. Oh. Now's my chance. Oh, don't, don't buy a loan just yet, but so I can I can maybe rock fifty bucks. We'll see how it goes. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, the value of a game it changes. Whereas like you know, I, I mentioned Unreal Tournament two thousand four, and you know, sure, my value of the game differs because the Game Spy servers don't work anymore. Um, have I been upgrading anything? This ride is falling apart. I'm surprised it hasn't broken down already. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I think I've been spending all this research time on, uh, on the candy cars. Uh, I haven't got any upgrades for anything a else. New feature has been researched. You should be researching everything what? else. Even the features have new features. But I did get a large flower, so that's actually kind of cool. Uh, where, where would a large flower go? Right there, right in between two tracks. Easy. I still love this up arrow. It's just like, it looks fancy because I've never seen a ride actually like break down in person. It's probably terrifying <laughs> to see a ride break down in person. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, oh man, this is what I thought. I've seen rides be closed for upgrades. I remember the, um, okay, clean the pretzel. Um, I remember seeing the, uh, Splash Mountain. They closed it. Um, in, uh, Florida when I went. Disney World, so... Don't know what, it's look, what it looks like now, but sure. Um, anyway, so games as a service, uh, the game's changed. I'll play my own world in 2004. Like, that game still retains its value. It's still a game, and all the stuff that's in the game still plays as a game. The only thing is, yeah, sure, the online servers, now you have to rely on custom solutions, but you know what? You always had the custom solutions. And in fact, for some games, they only had the custom solutions. So, you never feel like you're, you're getting lesser of a product over time. The only thing you can say is, it's a bit older. Like, you, you know, you might need to go through some hurdles to get it to work. But at the very least, it's like, here I am playing Theme Park World. It's a game from, you know, 1999 one of your rides is about to bring and it's working it's it's exactly as i remember it and that's about it I, I guess it doesn't have its online services up either but you know like whole point is still a lot there and then we had stuff like last week you know ubisoft closing down and 50 bucks is too much okay um we had ubisoft last week uh go like a bunch of these games are now not for sale anymore um, and also, well, actually, sorry, a bunch of these games are closing down. Are they still expressing dissatisfaction with 45? Are they actually leaving because of the money? They actually are leaving because of the money. That's incredibly disappointing that I have just squandered this opportunity. Actually, no, that's incredibly disappointing that they're idiots. Mm, visitors are grumbling about your high ticket price. What? They might consider lowering the cost. What? How am I going to make money? How am I actually going to make money in this park? How am I going to make money? Because I am constantly leaking money. It's like, if I got money in, and then money out, that's like a month of me not buying anything. And then it's just like, yeah, like, I, I don't understand the shop takings. That's the only point of the money in the whole, whole thing. Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, so, so... When, when developers keep saying, or rather, sorry, not when developers, when one of your rides has broken down. Ah, the jelly the deflated. There's no more jelly. Someone ate it all. Uh, you got some snacks. Ooh, did you get the burger rings? People saying the park is filthy here. You're standing on a pretzel. It is at this point that I demand a challenge in the game so that I can make money. Oh, security guy's happy though. Security guy is always happy. 
I love the uh, the flower guy as well. It's cool. There weren't any burgerings. Dang it. To cancel this employee's patrol area, click the patrol area button. No skill. That's uh, all that's <laughs> needed. Uh, uh, so you caught me while ranting about Unity's uh, acquisition of Iron Source, a advertising tool that is also kind of notorious for bundling adware into executables, and people are a little upset about that. Uh, I'm kind of going on about how their corporate speak is not really what I look for as a consumer. Like, they keep talking about this whole, like, building, you know, creating an ecosystem or, or an economy. The building robust businesses, like, letting you grow. There's all this stuff. Um, two packs of vegetarian meatballs. Ah, okay. Meatballs are always good. Meatballs are great. Alright, whole park kids. My park value hasn't gone up at all. Oh, it has? Okay, can I start charging these kids a little more for the park? Can I do 42? Are you going to be happy with 42? Can I can I start charging 42? You've got a lot of happy visitors and it's He's constantly kept prompting me. The Unity CEO is trying to run Unity to the ground. Listen, yeah, like... I mean, I don't know, on corporate speak... I, I'll never understand, like... Even, even like, my own... Uh, like places I've worked at, it's like, eh, you know, there's a, there's a separation between like the, the stuff I understand and the stuff they're kind of understanding. Um, this announcement, like, yeah, it's on their blog, but I feel like this blog is going to be mostly for the investors. That being said, like, I look at this and I go like, this is not what I really demand out of my games as a consumer, and I also feel like some of it seems a little bit weird. Like, the, the parts on, um, uh... Yeah, like, no longer first create, then monetize. What if, like, creators had an engine for live games that by default enable them to gain early indicators? Like, I don't mind the early indicators, but it's like, ah, oh, like, you're just encouraging people to make live games when I don't really think that's a sustainable model. There's so many of these games out there that don't make a profit. It's just that there's a select few that do and make crazy profits. The, the game industry is, like... Uh, talk to your sister's oh, wait, boyfriend that, uh, to get the chance to Gamescom. Ah! Oh, I've, I've got, like, a little bit of, like, work in, in Unity. Um, I've got some, like, weird, weird, uh, gripes with Unity as a, as an engine, but it's like, yeah, I mean, you know, it was one of the earlier ones I even, um, I even, like, started using, like, way back in, like, 2010. If anyone goes back to my channel, I think there's probably something, something hinting at, uh, a thing that, uh, you know, was not meant to be, because I didn't know any programming at the time. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I definitely feel like live games is, it's not sustainable, and it's also not something you should be getting crazy investor money into, because it's not, like, the games that make it big, make it big regardless of, like, the, you know, the constant analytic Until feedback. The uh, also, Maybe I feel like nothing stops you as a developer from making your own custom solution to that. Like, I mean, insight is always great. You, you would, I would prefer having insight than not having any insight. But, one, Unity already has, like, a bit of analytics in it. Two, yeah, you can, you can literally set this up yourself. Like, I feel like so many companies are just like, here's, here's this like all-encompassing analytics software and then it's just like, one, like you gotta integrate it well into your service, and then two, you've got like this massive EULA that they've, that they generate and now you've gotta like pass it on to all your users and they don't read it. You could actually be like kinda caught out and liable. The game he made, his friends has quite some success, so he invested some money for one of the options you know, he gives. Where then some Unity devs helped them to optimize, and he told me it's crazy what those people can do with Unity, and you won't be able to if you uh, if you have to develop a game instead of learning Unity. Yeah, I there's like legit my my biggest sense like influence is um, uh, kind of reverse engineering Clone Hero, and real talk like the optimizations they've gotten that like they they do the whole scene in like three draw calls. They they bake everything into the scene wow, you're picking up the game pretty quick. he's done it do you think you're ready for keep all your employees time? happy heck yeah it's a quick though not necessarily easy way to pick up some bonus money 
It's your decision. <laughs> Keeping you your employees happy. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. You'll get another chance. Um, to find out so that is actually why I wanted to employ you. actually had business contacts in you further than just... Yeah, I, I also... I do feel like um, you're going to get a different opinion from engineers than um, like products. We've Fantastic rapids. Oh, I got a rapids ride and I barely have any money for it. Uh, I'm not putting it there. I'm not putting it right there. Let's pop it up here. Some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an entertainer. We're talking major pockets of cultural deprivation. I keep doing this to myself. A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature, as in, I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose, or let's sit down on this feature and take a load out. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? There you go, guys. There you go. <laughs> Maybe you should hire some more. Log flume. Have fun. <laughs> That's a bit atrocious, isn't it? Um, yeah, but yeah, you're gonna get a, a different opinion from um, from engineers and from big product people. I feel like Staff engineers are, happy. are probably going to... If you keep them that way, they won't go on strike. Well, that's, that's the whole point of the challenge. Um, yeah, I, I feel like sometimes as well, like, you'll, you'll get brutally honest, but also scoped opinions from engineers. Like, engineers, like, they'll, they'll say it as it is, but they'll also... You know, like, like I'll, I'll just say, like, at my last work, it's like, yeah, like, I had no real, like, massive idea of what was, like, going on at other corners of the company. Us. But, right, you know, it's like, if you ask me about my specific thing, it's like, yeah, no, I, I'd tell you real crazy details about that. Within confidential scope, of course, but like, uh, ever since I started working in the IT section of the big business and in the department uh, that has contact with the entire rest of the business, at least when they have trouble with the database, I don't understand researched. why uh, AAA no, games, uh, sorry, why patches of minor stuff in AAA games never happen. Um, Guild Wars 2 add armor, durability, and repair in the we game on release. Right. Oh, wait, hang on. oh, does it, do they not have it anymore right. or Upgrade. doesn't work? Ah, that's good too. Chuck an upgrade on that. Do I have anything else that's got lingering upgrades? Just chuck an upgrade on it. It's already there. Why not? Uh, yeah, okay, I've done the loop. I'm making a little bit of money. It's only a little bit. It's not a lot of it. It's just a little bit. Uh, whenever you died, uh, one of your six armor pieces of damage, once all Did six were damaged, they started breaking the, one by one on death. You need to repair them at there NPCs or the anvils and cost money. They had quite a few money sinks to keep the economy stable, but the repair cost was quickly deemed not necessary for that. Okay. I feel like database stuff, it's like, there's a lot, I don't know if people are finding this boring, because it's like... You've met the challenge and the prize is yours. I've made money. Uh, the game released in August 2012. The repair cost was removed in 2013, but the mechanics stayed researched. in. Whoever said that there's nothing oh, yeah, the like, like I guess your if you're putting... Actually, I guess the repair cost. Like, I'm, I'm curious if anything really a whole new set of should change about your, um, your internal database on that one. Because this is like, I don't know, that seems like a software domain um, change. Where it's just like your your business logic changes rather than your actual like model of database. But now in last month they finally removed the mechanic and the NPCs and anvils instead just provide a little buff. Oh okay. Oh so they had all these features in the game about repairing something, and it just kind of seemed like a time waste because it's like oh my stuff breaks. So now they actually provide a feature. Okay. I feel like that yeah that doesn't sound like they would really need to do a database change. Really? I mean, I guess there might be stuff on the, on the, um, server side, uh, to maybe facilitate the change in business logic. Um, as in, like, they might have details that it's just like, oh, they don't get used for anything. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, what's another example of one? Um, it was originally a money sing- uh, yeah. 
I can think of something where it's like, imagine a game's got, um, like a, a stat of some kind on weapons, and then it's like, they remove that feature entirely for that stat on weapons, or they need to add a new stat on weapons, or they need to migrate things into a new format. That's There's usually, that's usually the, the big, like, get a cleaner on the case and man, clean they really the hate this area, do they? Um, uh, it could have just stayed with it, no problem, only changed the on-death trigger or however they coded it. Um, yeah, damage did not influence performance. So, okay, so it's just like, you know what? I bet if you got a good crowd in here, you'd win a gold. He keeps ticket. telling me this. He keeps telling me that the crowd is they're not there yet. How much time is there? Uh, there are areas of the park that aren't being patrolled. So, so it's just like it's either not broken or it's broken, and so it's just like when it's not broken, you know, stuff will influence that number going down to zero. Is that really it? You can turn off the damage equip trigger on death. Um. Yeah, like that. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do. I, that doesn't seem like a database issue, though. That seems like they've just got places in code that affect the durability of a weapon. You should easily be able to effectively just find the references of whatever calls that. I don't quite... Like, I don't quite understand... What exactly the thing is, other than they didn't give another, like, use... Um... Oh, oh, the database is different. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, it's all good. I definitely feel like there's a lot of video game stuff which doesn't get, like, actively tested. Um, sorry, not actively. Uh, it doesn't get continually, continuously tested. Um, as in with integration testing, like, actual, or unit testing, like, just actual code testing. Um, a lot of video games are kind of written straight. Um, not sure if Guild Wars 2 is one of them, but, uh... With the cost removed, uh, it was a time waster, not a big one. Yeah, I think there's also, like, t things where it's just, like, you know, in, in that case, it's, like, you need a hot fix. You need to definitely, like, go, okay, people are finding this boring. Let's remove that. Let's see how it goes. And then people don't particularly, like, people will say it's an annoyance, but it's, like, how vocal is it compared to other things in the game? Um, and they just never prioritize that. It'll be sitting in their backlog for the longest time, but they'll never get to... Handling it, really. <laughs> Behold the Wiggly Jelly. There you go. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the biggest thing I find is not necessarily, like, the amount of work to get it to be done, but the amount of like, logistics in, like, creating the task, um, basically prioritizing it, and then signing it, doing it, and then reviewing it, because if you want to, like, you know, ensure your work is actually good, you want people to check off on it, um, they only did the back, uh, sorry, they, they only did old backlog stuff since they had, uh, idle devs because the latest big expansion came out and they were still planning the next stuff, so they had people sitting around. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, like, um, we've got, uh, we've got a, a phrase of keep the lights on, um, and it's just like, we want to take on some keep the lights on, uh, but, uh, yeah, different, different teams will have different that's good too. prioritizations and budgets and obviously like if they had a new feature set lined up a new feature sometimes it's a bit more you know what? valuable Even as in you offer more value features. by throwing in new things and not necessarily fixing the old stuff at some point i know you know <laughs> it's too much you don't want to just constantly throw in new things you do want to fix old stuff but um i know that yeah, unless you work in a really big company you don't understand that those big companies are just so big, and while they have enough people, they don't have enough people just like, um... Yeah, yeah, they're all, they're all segmented, because it's very hard to be, um... Like, if, if you're, if you're, um, like, uh, EA Maxis, for example, uh, dead company, I know, but, like, I think you had, like, 250 employees, maybe even more. 250 is a lot of people. You do not have 250 people working on one singular thing. If your game 100% consists of a bunch of smaller modules, you might have people work on engine, people work on sound, people work on, um, uh, 
like the actual gameplay logic itself is probably only handled by like at most like 20 people it feels like if you chuck more people on um either it's a revolving door like you've got people going out and people coming in to replace it as soon as you have a uh, segmentation people love just not doing work when it's not clear that yeah oh exactly as well like um especially like okay so let's say i'm working at EA maxis i'm working on the new sims expansion um and then there's people working on core engine uh like they're working on the engine there's people working on the graphics part of the engine like that's its whole like other corner of the company and i'm going like okay i want to do this cool effect but i don't know if it can be done so i send a message to Some the engine people and then i wait a few oh, days and they'll get back to me or they'll sick. figure something out and then they get back to me and i go wow everyone constantly leaves stink bombs next to this park oh next to this ride they they just hate this ride that's it that's the only reason uh let's chuck in the strength flower Ooh. This is a fun position. There you go. Did you know that even now, at the dawn of a new I'm still amazed I haven't gotten the golden ticket. It's been an hour ten. An People are not coming into the park. I would be sitting on like 350 visitors by now if this was the other one. Although here's a is this a busload of people getting out or no no it's not. Very disappointing. <sighs> I don't understand. Oh, the park value is going down as well. But it's like, look at the gate takings. No one comes in anymore. The gate takings is lower than it was, like, ages ago. People were coming in. Uh, the only things that get done reasonably quickly are the ones that are actually important and or... Yeah, yeah. We, uh, you'll have escalation processes. You'll have, like, things where it's like, this is incredibly high priority. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um, the bee and the flower thing. Um... I think, like, interest is also, like, a tricky thing as well, because, like, uh, I definitely know at places I've Look worked out, at, it's like, ball. I've never been a manager, a so I've down. never been, like, the crazy most responsible for going, this needs to be done this sprint. I'm kind of just like, you know, I'll discuss it, I'll, I'll kind of mention it, but it's like, I, d I never sign off on it. Um, and for a lot of them, it's like, you know, we've got the things that we already plan to do, so we'll get back to it if it's real detrimental or it, it really is a blocker and i'd honestly say it's like yeah i mean the anvil mechanic you know like <laughs> you got you gotta really be looking out for that one um it just feels like maybe it doesn't correspond or correlate to other things really needing changes as much so pick it off the backlog it's an old task you gotta get to it eventually it's not good having really old stuff on your backlog but you can't just you know, uh, not, not, sorry, not you can't just, but yeah, there's priorities that, like, you'd need to have, or not need, I don't know what I'm saying. Managers do a lot of deciding, and they have a lot of factors in their head, and they don't necessarily, like, you know, thing, things take time, not necessarily because of the technical challenges of making it happen, but because of the, um, uh, I guess the confirmation the logistics of going everyone kind of has to be like online for this to, to really happen people have to be on board with with this the new department manager's size and mentions that the database people said that you really need to focus on that particular thingy because apparently it's really important uh well a, go a good manager a good manager gets his feedback from bottom up he 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 will get the ideas from a low level trickle it up embody it and then propagate it back down somewhere else um and ideally that you know a lot of a lot of the time uh if you're an engineer you only feel like you're either getting very like weird priorities from up above or uh, you're doing stuff because you found out or your team members found out like that kind of stuff um but yeah a, a good manager properly propagates that that concept really well um so if if it's like the database people complain that they can't store like this information in the database because it's slow or something along along the lines of that um and you're not convinced it's like oh they, they gotta do something they gotta they gotta convince you a bit better they gotta they gotta really do their work because it doesn't feel right uh if if you're told to uh to work on something and you don't particularly believe in it 
I mean, like, not not a morally one, but like, I feel like you gotta inspire your workers. So a good manager does that. And I, de I definitely know. Like, I I've, I've I've had a pretty good run uh, with with managers. I I. I one of your raids is about to break. I feel like I've got like a cover. decent idea of like at least from an Plus engineer level, like what uh you know what 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 uh what my manager does that makes me go ah yes that really does inspire me, and then what things I've had other managers do go, and I'm like I don't know man like like I get it, but I also <laughs> I'm not I'm not like crazy motivated. I just kind of go like I see where you're coming from. But, uh, I'm not one to really, like, question the authority in, in my businesses, though. Like, you know, I, I do my work well, and um, I'll, I'll trust their guidance to some degree. Um, to some degree. <laughs> Sometimes it is a bit, uh, a bit destructive. Like, they'll, they'll do stuff just for the sake of doing it. I should probably give her uh, the, um, this guy's patrol areas. It looks like you want to set this employee's patrol That is area. true. It does look First, like I want to set his patrol. Actually, let's give him the half. The area to be. <clears throat> Clear your throat, my man. Clear your throat. There you go. Uh, Some areas of now, I don't understand HR. <laughs> probably because I'm an engineer and I think in very like literal terms. Uh, but, like, yeah. Le legit, like, even then, it's like... I don't know how many people do the analytics you know, stuff and aren't in, engineers. The so they they have to be selling job. this to engineers. And the so they're kind of selling this acquisition, this Unity acquisition. Um, you never know exactly what the others are doing because their stuff is so complex now. Um, as in within your team? Yeah, somewhat, yeah. I think you can kind of... I think the best way to handle it is that, like, teams should... Um, Teams should run their own blogs, like internally. I feel like that's something that like I've I've gotten out of like some other places I've been at. But it's just like it gives you a company, like because your company is its own domain. So like you know, it, it'd be cool to kind of go like, hey, th we're this team, and this is something we worked on, and it's cool, or we do something. Regular demos is always good because people are always like afraid to demo. So it's like if you do it really often, people don't mind as much. Um, of course, you know, don't, don't do too crazy amounts of, amount of demos, but, uh, but I definitely feel like, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a companies out there where it's like, yeah, like, legit, it'd be, it'd be cool to know, also, oh, Big B, hold on, up the price, up the price. Should I be making more money off the burgers? Possibly. Your Oops. balloons are selling like hotcakes. Well, not in stacks, more like grapes, you know, in bunches. Anyway, it means the visitors are having fun. Uh, I, I love the costume shop, it's so cool. Customers at your shop um, feel like they've had Yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of... Marketing genius. There's, there's probably other things. Uh, the blog post is one idea, the demos. Um, Sometimes as well, you get like team integrations, like as in, have come up with a new ride. as in, if your uh, team like does need to effectively a interact with another team. To you should have your scientists look into them. Oh no, I got like no money. <laughs> Just spend on that. You had the 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 big bad negative dollar sign shop for a moment. Timmy Falling Simulator 2022 writes Did itself. You know that even now, at the dawn of a new oh season, my goodness! I just saw the, of the park that haven't seen an toilet. Is so stanky. And there's another Facebook message. I double apologize. Who's been double sending me Facebook messages today? I don't want to tab out because the game's gonna crash. But like, who's legit been double sending me? Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Ah. I love the clothes pegs on the ground, it's, it's a nice fun detail. I'm, I'm really struggling on money, but... Oh, actually, hold on, raise the value. Raise the price, raise the price. 
It's 51. It's 51. You all can accept 51 because the pack value is there. It's there. It's 51 bucks. There you go. I'm a happy chappy. <laughs> I've got money all of a sudden. Um, yeah, I, I never understand like HR because like HR, I mean, Grant, like HR is fairly removed People if you're your inside the company. Value. Nice one. This is the first time I've actually been adjusting my sale prices as well, so. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh my Wait, gosh, the very dead. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah, that's good too. How many times has Tweety Tours... <laughs> uh, how do, how do I say it? I'm just gonna call it. This always breaks down. This is, this is what it's been doing. I don't think anyone even writes this. Uh, being one of the database people can be frustrating as you are the core infrastructure position. Can't really do much except deal with the application devs do and ask them to please change their queries to the database. Okay, yeah, legit. If people, like, I mean, granted, like, yeah, if you're, if they're the ones creating the queries to you, they've got rooms for optimizations. They, they clearly can be doing things better. I think um, there's so many uh, places where people don't use databases the right way. Um, I legitimately think, like, we are in this, like, wonderful age of, um, of, uh, what would I say? Transient memory. But there's also, like, there is a horrendous, like, push towards, um, towards, like, databases. I should know. I work in the, uh, how is it called? There are areas of the park that aren't being patrolled by an entertainer, and people there are starved for amusement. Uh, you don't need entertainers, but I only need one. Um, uh, the sector that logistics and markets and stuff. Finance sector? Or, uh, um... If it's not necessarily, like, finance, it's, like, infrastructure is fine, like, um... Uh, sell stuff and has warehouses and stuff. Okay, logistics, yeah, yeah. Uh, commerce, sometimes we get the, the phrase, even though the <laughs> commerce doesn't mean much. Um, yeah. You do not produce. Yeah, like, like Amazon. Where it's like, I mean, granted, Amazon now has its own stuff. But it's like, when Amazon is just like, it's a store where other people sell their stuff and then they do all the, you know, warehousing and the shipping and the payments and the accounts and the sales and the advertising and all that stuff. It's like, they, they do the commerce. They've got all this, like, info for that. Um, yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. So like Amazon, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, no, I, I feel like when you're in a company, um, there's a lot of pressure to, I guess, catalog, if that makes, like, to log a lot of stuff, to store things in databases whenever possible, and then that makes data retrieval a very interesting affair. Um, uh, you got a lot of old code. Oh boy, old code. I will safely say, the first place I worked at, and it's like, I'm working on like 2002 written Visual Basic, and I had never touched Visual Basic in my whole life. And I'm just looking at it going like, oh my goodness. And I'm dealing with like modern OS, like just struggling to reinterpret the same things that were written back in 2002. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot, there's a, there's a number of legal reasons why you gotta keep old, old data. Um, isn't like one of them like, you gotta like have stuff for like seven years or something. We've got trouble, boss. <coughs> all right, like all like personal down. identifying info for um, either it's a US or an EU thing. Um, old COBOL programs, yeah, yeah. There's 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 a lot of like it's very hard to supersede an old program as well. Um, but yeah, like happy visitors. I I, I feel like a golden ticket. When am I getting this golden ticket, bro? When am I getting it? I'm at 173. People are leaving the park now. I was at 149 earlier, really? Being patrolled by an entertainer. We're talking major pockets this of This is amazing that I've still gone without getting any tickets yet. I'm, I'm an hour 24. I need I need A two new tickets. Has been researched. Why? Even the I'm just getting features, bro. Features. That's all I'm getting. Um 
There you go. We can touch it now. I'm gonna to touch it. You can view. <clears throat> I, sh I shall rename it. You can view the details of miscellaneous items on this screen. Use the buttons at the bottom to delete the item. Funny. Or I am funny. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> uh. So we sometimes have to tell devs to please change their communication with the database because we cannot do much on our own because we know we don't know if that might break old COBOL code. And the people responsible for the old COBOL stuff would need to spend time to actually check that currently working code. And we're all busy on stuff. Yeah, no, oh, I'm in the exact same boat. It's like, um, I remember I had a, a, a use case at um, my old work where we did a, um, we wanted to migrate to AWS. And that kind of involved like redeploying things onto, because we used to like self-host. We just like have physical machines and we'd connect into them and they'd be running CentOS and we'd just install stuff on them and we hope that they're still running the same-ish versions of CentOS because otherwise then services don't work. Uh, taught me to be a lot more forgiving with bad paths to games or patches to games as long as the spirit of the patch is in the right direction. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ga games are tough. Games are tough. Like, I I'm critical of them because they go ambitious in directions that they don't really need to go in. All this like games as a service stuff, I'm just like, man, you know, there's so many people working on things where it's just like, legit, if your game was offline, it, it would save you so much hassle, and I don't think it would, <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it would make more money technically, but I don't know, man, it doesn't make my experience any better. That's what I'm cool if you don't know it. <laughs> uh, Guild Wars 2 had a terrible balance patch a few weeks ago. People were really upset. Yeah, when Overwatch uh, decided to mess me over as a player by adding in a character that was low skill and kept crowd controlling me, I was very upset about that. Um, but uh, yeah, so so we wanted to redeploy things to AWS because we self-hosted stuff. Uh, when we self-hosted, we used um, and it's almost one year I don't know which name server we used to use, uh, but we noticed with AWS. If you query AWS's DNS, uh, you don't get an well, you do get an Did additional you know, section. But when we do things like a century, like a an SRV lookup, um, or a, or a C name lookup, it would usually do the A lookup after like in the additional section for the the name server, and it would give us uh, the actual address of the thing as well. So it's like not only are we um, trying to resolve this host or or try and you know do an SRV and figure out which you know what's the waiting. Uh, for what records to, to go through, but then it would also resolve the A records for us. So we're like, oh cool, it does it all in one go. Uh, not angry, they were not just angry on the forums because the company behind uh, announced the balance patches every few weeks now, they gave actual dates. Uh, basically all the planned content patches now get a balance part, which is just how seriously angry people were <laughs> before the next. Companies should be transparent about that, like especially if you're a game company, because like people just paid money for your product. Like, they have a lot more stake into it than, than you know, me, I guess me as a dev for Iron Source, uh, or for, for Unity, if I saw the Iron Source thing, I'd be a bit more upset if I was an actual Unity dev, maybe. Um, but it's like, you know, like, YouTube changes the UI, and it's like, you know, like, uh, the direction of patch was good, just changes they missed the mark because they overlooked something or horribly under-tuned the new skill versions. I think there is a degree of, like, also, like, don't get it too wrong if that makes sense like you can you can make things worth by uh, worse by going halfway sometimes sometimes it, it, it does work so it, do, it does depend but um they, they change the UI of the categories I find it so hard to find a game now on Twitch I keep getting categories I I, I don't I, I'm not actually like a user of Twitch like too much like I, I, I make content for it but like the amazing part about like streaming to Twitch is that you don't use Twitch to stream to Twitch. You use OBS and you give it a token and you don't have to look at Twitch ever again. There's a chat, um, OBS embeds the chat and I know it's just 100% it's a pop out of a, a certain page. Not the categories page, the pages of one game. Oh, okay, did they change how that works now? I haven't seen it or I haven't, I haven't observed the, any changes, but... Uh, oh my gosh, there's more than 200. Just give it to me. Hold on, I've actually got the list here. You need 2,500 visitors into the park. Is that, oh, as in this total number? And then 300 people into the park and then have an average happiness of 80. And then get at, get at least 150 people happy, which is just nowhere near. Um, 
make 20,000 in a year and research everything. I don't think any of that... Maybe the 300 might happen eventually, at the end of the stream, but I don't think... I don't know if 2,500 visitors is happy, happening. 150 people happy probably could happen if I got enough people, but people are finding stuff is dirty all the time. So let's look at the map. Let's get... Let's get the list of where the entertain or where these guys are struggling. I think I just divvied out. I think I just need another one. I've got a new challenge for you. Take a look at the message for details. I hope it's not selling balloons. I swear, I hope it's not selling balloons. Everyone is all the all the janitors are just walking all over each other right now. Don't be selling balloons. You've built all of the spotless features. toilets. Maybe you should research some spotless more. Spotless toilets. Let's do it. This screen lets you see the details of a toilet. Let's do it. You really want to do. So as long as they're not absolutely <laughs> filthy. All right. Um, like you click on uh, in the categories, you got a preview of the top stream, so taking up eighty percent of the page. They're just aren't enough to keep the visitors happy or dry. Find my papa in our toilet. Um, uh, you could click on some button and make the preview stream smaller so you can see two rows and scroll vertically again. Absolutely obnoxious. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I, I actually do hate UX changes. Um, so much of UX, it's like, yeah, you hire a UX person and then, like, what do they do? Because so much of your UX is actually, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But then, like, they don't have ideas and then they, oh, sorry, they have ideas... Even even if they don't make sense, they pitch it to someone, and then someone accepts it, and then they just go with it, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, a lot of, which, I understand why it happens, I don't approve it happening, it just kind of happens sometimes. It's, it's, it's just, I don't know. I think the toilets actually are going to be pretty, like, clean this whole challenge, because, like, 90, 90 days is quite a fair bit of time. You've got a rain uh, to Timmy falling down the well simulated 2022. No, can't believe it. Um, Don't be alarmed. Yeah, Don't it's it's multi layered. Um, broken down, but I feel like the, the other thing way. as well is that like yeah, uh, a lot of companies it's like you know, a new feature your has been your restored. staff aren't necessarily you know your users. Um, I'll just run to the feature but I'm curious where people get the idea that they need to change UI all the time. Take a load of. Like, a lot of people like the familiarity. Some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an entity. Uh, We're talking get every business above us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like the, the key thing is to know your user stories. Eureka! The Bugs We've TV ride. This is ride. Uh, very similar to another ride that you may have seen already, uh, which is why I'm going to put it sideways. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. This one. This one. Oh, that's good too. Well, the workers also uh, game pool. Keep it up and you'll avoid strikes. That's a that's an old reference. I cite this all the time. That comment changed my life. The one guy who just said Bugs 3 Toy Story 3 gameplay on one video. I don't even know. It's like the other ride, except it's uh It's cool, wow. Uh so, yeah, some changes are good, uh, and only headed initially because they're different. Some changes are, are made because the devs need to show management, hey, we did something, and some changes are done because the devs have weird taste. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what's another, like, yeah, YouTube, YouTube went through a ton of, like, bizarre ones. Um, I think the only thing that they've got a little bit weird right now is, uh, collapsing the, the description area at the bottom of the video. I don't hate the idea of the description being underneath the video, um, nowadays, uh, because I feel like... Ultimately, it means you can see more recommended videos, um, and also they got the gallery expand. Sorry, the, the large player expand. That works alright. Um, but back when they had... Uh, one thing that was kind of annoying is that they moved it from to the right of the video to now below the video, which meant that the video details... Um, well, one, people pointed to the, to the wrong area, so like your use case of looking over to the right is now down. Adding the description fold means that, you know, you'll miss stuff now. Uh, they had the title move around as well, because the title used to be above the video and now it's below. Um, 
that's one where it's like, I think people just got used to it over time, and now they've kind of learned to not touch it. The channels especially have just been like horrendous. They've iterated over it so many times. They've almost gotten it right, and now they've added in shorts, and it's kind of ruined everything. Um, I'm so glad they reverted the streams of one game page, because that should allow quick information filtering and stream finding. Either the game has no streams a lot, or a lot. And if you're if a lot, you're probably looking for something specific. For example, Monster Hunter Streams. You say that, but I've put this game under the retro category, because I don't think anyone ever will look up Theme Park World and or Sim Theme Park. I feel like that one's made it double difficult for me, uh, for this game. Uh, let's double check the toilets. Okay, no, we're pretty clean. We're pretty clean. The toilets are doing good. Um, oh, what's the park value at? I don't know if I could bump it up again. Visitors are impressed with the value at your shops. Well done. Thank you. But how? You've got a lot of happy visitors, and it's almost one year. He's been saying that. He's been saying that I've had a lot of happy visitors since like a hundred. And the goal is 300, it's crazy. YouTube shorts are only annoying on computer, on phone they work well as normal videos, except for the inability to skip through them. The fact that, like, you can't... Can you pause them? I think you can maybe click on them, but, like, why do they not show the, the duration? It's bizarre. Um, so, uh, real talk, uh, and this probably already exists. A Grease Monkey, Tampa Monkey script that just redirects you from a shorts page to a to the watch page, which you can do. You, you take the URL, it's youtube.com slash shorts slash and then it's an, an ID of some kind. Change the slash shorts slash to sla slash watch question mark V equals and then the ID. So you've only got one slash now. But like it does it, you're now on the live page. Because it's like it's it's just weird. It's a different UI and it, you, you get less information and you don't have the ability to, to you know show the video controls. Uh, YouTube does shorts better than TikTok and streams better than Twitch. TikTok at least has a, 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 sc a scrubble bar. It's got it's got the bit where you can jump to a different part of the, the video. Um, and also you can right click on it and just click show video controls, I think. You could do that. I'm not too sure if it hides it away. Whereas like YouTube, like they, they've got their own custom right click menu, so you can't do that. Um, YouTube shorts have more reach now than TikTok. It's a weird... Also, yeah, a lot of these services have a weird numbers game. Like, I know Facebook, they count their views so differently to YouTube, where it's like, the moment, like, any, uh, like, any, any time the video plays, it tracks as a view. I know YouTube is fairly, uh, conservative. Like, they only count as a view if, like, 30 sec... Oh, that's a hiccup. If, like, 30 seconds elapse. All gaming streams would bail, uh, Twitch and go to YouTube if YouTube had good filters for streaming categories. Yeah, yeah. I never know whether to stream to YouTube or to stream to Twitch. I, I went with Twitch because I thought people would discover the content a lot more, a lot easier when it's live. Being patrolled by an entertainer um, and all the big Warhammer 2 Total War amusement. streamers run YouTube. Hmm. People aren't happy, so let's actually get them an entertainer. Let's get the ant. You, but you're running out of time to complete your challenge. The challenge is no, like, dirty toilets. One of your rides is about to break down. Take cover. Or I suppose you could fix it. It's uh, your Tweety Towers, aka the this always breaks down. It's about to break down. Who would have thought? A new feature has been researched. Why? Even the fairy frolics. Oh, I've got my speakers as well. Let's pop the speakers in. You've got a lot of happy visitors, and it's almost won you a golden ticket. Put smiles on a few more faces, and it'll be yours. What is the sound? What is the sound? Did you know the biggest Total War streamer is Australian? Ooh! Eureka. Good, good on We've representation of Australians as well. Down. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah. But yeah, YouTube is like. I don't think YouTube is uh, Legend of Total War. Ooh. A new set of miscellaneous There's a lot of like interesting um you could have your circles that are like they're more popular on Twitch or they're more popular on YouTube. It's not streamed during Australian hours though. Yeah, I like a good crowd into I feel like I've got a good weird time content. going live at like 8 30 p.m. Australian Eastern, because that's like right in the middle of day in Europe, Joker is and then See if you can get horrendous in the US. It's like you're, it's like 2:30 if you're on the West Coast and 4:30 if you're on the East Coast. When there's daylight savings here, it starts to be a little bit more normalized, because then like they're like two hours the other way. Um, but still, it's just like I kind of miss out on them. That being said, I I I know this. It's like most of my viewer audience. 
A surprising amount is Japanese. You've mastered your challenge. Hey, five grand. Um, yeah, a surprising amount of my viewers are Japanese. So, shout out to all the Japanese viewers out there. You guys are... Uh, <laughs> the man, the men. Except you're also women as well, because uh, you get the male-female ratio. You're the people. You're the cool kids. Um, also, Brazil. Shout out to my Brazilian fellas. Uh, you guys are dedicated. I, I'm amazed of like people in countries that like it's not the it's not the primary language, and yet you'll enjoy my ramblings in in English. It's it's amazing. It, it means so much to me because it's just like I don't know. Like I always feel kind of weird if it's like being patrolled by you know I, I'm just an Australian guy, but you know it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat just having people internationally enjoy your stuff. I don't know. I feel humbled all of a sudden. I'm tooting my own horn, but... Uh, so let's, let's get this guy to chill over here. I don't know if I'm spreading him out a bit too thin, but we'll see. And then the other guy... Oops. To cancel this employ <clears throat> oh. It's not, not the greatest UI to figure out who needs to go where. And it's oh, it's almost won me a golden ticket. ticket. Listen, that's gotten more important... Oh, sorry, more annoying than the, uh... Than the, uh... Research new right upgrade. Ah, oh, that's good too. Uh, strategy games have long campaign like games like Total War games work really well with videos uh, and a whole lot better with YouTube streams and Twitch streams. Seriously, the ability to rewind stuff. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, actually. The ability to rewind and then bonus points, be able to play back at a faster speed to catch up. Amazing. I don't know why Twitch doesn't have that. Um, Twitch also, like, when it decides to throw ads, it's the most obnoxious things out there. Because it just happens. It just happens so randomly, and it's unsynced to people's content. And it's just, ugh, it's horrendous. Um, yeah, YouTube really needs to, like, work on that. Um, I was mildly tempted to use YouTube Gaming when they had the, um, yeah, when they had YouTube Gaming. When they had a dedicated front end just for gaming. Um, jump into the stream three hours in, start in the middle, and skip to the boring parts. Um, yeah, I always wonder what, like, how exactly that would work out, um, on Twitch. Twitch also, like, they drop the ball because they limit the VODs. As in, you can't... Like, your my videos disappear after two weeks from Twitch. And bizarrely as well, they disappear from me in two weeks. They don't just disappear from you, the, the layman, watching on, on Twitch. They disappear from me. I can't export them after two weeks. They're gone from my account. Um, it might be longer if I am a Twitch... Uh, Prime streamer, but it's just like it's crazy. The, that two weeks feels like so quick for me because that means I only have two videos on Twitch at a time. Um, YouTube stream become videos. Up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. YouTube at least it's like oh they become videos later. I I like this idea of like recording and then re-uploading just because right now I apparently dropped a thousand eight hundred sixty-eight frames because of my network lag really early on in the stream. I'm recording locally. I dropped. 10 because of rendering lag, it doesn't matter really, especially at 60 FPS, no one's gonna notice 10 frames in a, you know, a 500,000 frame stream missing. Uh, but also then I can re-upload it at a better quality, at a better encoding than the stream quality, so that's one thing. Um, Twitch supports uploading the videos, but only if you're an affiliate. There's like a weirdly special club for affiliates and then the rest of us I don't know. Twitch is a bit heavily commercialized, but also I feel like... I don't know, sometimes it's to its best, sometimes it's to its worst. You don't have to deal with content ideas absolutely gnarly on your account. Um, like I'm able to stream Earthbound to Twitch. Let's just say that. Uh, YouTube stream videos become... Stream, uh, but in the back end they make it the video at the moment. Yeah, yeah, YouTube YouTube do a good job in, in um, encoding and supporting uh, the video. Uh, it's... It is complex, because you've got to, like, you could do it with MP, MP4. There's, there's video container scratch. formats you that do let you, like, in, define them over time, and not necessarily in one, like, on. full bake. Let's uh, I know MP4 feature. is Take not one of those, actually. Um, MP4 definitely gets very picky if you try to, you know, adjust properties of it. <clears throat> Goodbye, pretzel on the wrestle. I knew the well. Oh, my park value is going down. How do I make my park value go back up? 
I'm wait. I'm saving money because I know that there's gonna there's there's one big ride and it's gonna cost a ton of money. But you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I, ne I never even put the restaurant in. Let's see. Can I? Is there enough room for it? Oh. That's horrendously clipping everything. <laughs> there you go. Fifty bucks. Yeah, but... Yeah, how... Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of weird responsibilities for these tech companies. Like, that, a lot of things do go on. Um, I'm always, like, slightly skeptical, because it's like... I feel like there's some companies where it's like, you know, you, you can be a lot more open about your roadmaps. Um, I especially... Not, not even, like, companies with open source software, because open source software... You've know, you, you definitely got to be clear with your roadmaps. Uh, that is my ride right there. Um, but even stuff like... Um, I know people are going to criticize Epic Games, and I know I was just saying I bought an Epic Games game for two bucks earlier. Um, but... Uh, I really appreciate that with the Epic Games Store, they link to a Trello page where they at least have cards of all the upcoming features. So every time anyone complained about, like, it doesn't have a cart, it doesn't have achievements, it doesn't have, like, the friend chat or something, I would look at that Trello page and I would go, at least they know they don't have it and they know they want to make it. And now so many of those features do exist, I think the only thing they don't really have is, like, complete the bundle bundles visitors, uh, and, and the trading cards. Do you know the Eternal ticket. Cylinder by Ace Team? I know Ace Team. I know Ace Team. I do not know the Eternal Cylinder. Um, off the top of my head. I have not, like, paid attention to this stuff. All I know is I really you enjoyed Xeno Clash and Maybe you should Rock of more. Ages. I think I played one of them for a little bit. I didn't play them that much, but I do really enjoy Xeno Clash. Uh... Something is like a ticking time bomb. Oh, it's liter- oh. Wow, that is- that is manic. That is gonna irritate everyone. Let's keep it in. Saw that game in a German streamer video creator play at the beginning. I was so amazed I broke principle, made an epic account. Time- I- Like, I- I won't judge if you make an epic account. I will say, uh, you have done more than me in spending money on the Epic Game Store. Uh, they have still not gotten a dime out of me, but that's because I don't buy too many new games, and so all the time exclusivity things, um mean nothing to me. I think the only game I own is Borderlands 3 because I got it in a humble monthly and then I got the choice of having it on Steam or Epic. I chose Steam just because um, I prefer the- I do prefer the, the download client. I think Epic's one is like it feels kind of cumbersome to use sometimes. Um, it's not really because of any of the other features. It's just it's a little it's a little quicker for me to download the game. Nobody does Alien Feeling World. It's Ace Team. I'm gonna buy the game again on Steam when it comes out in December or November. Dude, that's gonna be good when it when it comes out. Epic Games exclusive, like, uh, was uh, I I mentioned uh, controversial topics at the beginning, and that's one where I always keep going. I think it was really blown out of proportion. Um, you know, er there's a lot of, a lot of people complaining about Epic, and I'm just like, you know, like, if you're gonna shoehorn yourself into the market, like, I don't really see how you could do it any other way, really. Um, the exclusivity stuff is like, yeah, it's, you know, it's less options for a consumer, but it's also like, you know, it's, I, I now have to download a different piece of software to play the game. We had to do it with Origin all the time. Uh, I don't think Uplay ever had any games exclusive to it, because they would release them on Steam. Um, although it seems that uh, Ubisoft might be doing a bunch of stuff on the stuff like Uplay. Um, uh, because that game gave me a wondrous feeling when playing the game instantly. Uh, sorry, and intensely I had not felt in a decade. Oh, I've been playing games since I was five or something. Now I'm almost 30. It's hard for games to feel truly new to me. Eternal Cylinder did. Thousand percent movies. recommend the wonderful story. I'll definitely give it a check out. I do enjoy Ace Team stuff. They absolutely like, like, um, vivid their games. That's the word I would use. Like, it's just like, it's, they're, they're strange, yet inviting. They're, they're bizarre games and I, I, I do really appreciate what they do. Um, I don't think there's a, the, the, there's not many developers like them as well, where it's like they, they've clearly got 
um, like, a vision, and it's not just the, we're kind of quirky game devs or stuff like that. There's a lot of studios that it's like, they're known for their quirkiness. Um, people know Kojima, I don't know if that necessarily embodies a studio. That definitely embodies Kojima himself, but he's like a very strong director, but I don't know who is the director of, um, or who directs the games a for a scene. Been researched. Why? Even the we got the lucky card. Features. Where we put the lucky card? We'll put the lucky card right next to the... Right next to the restaurant. How's the money going? Oh, the valley's doing okay. Some scoundrel is popping children's balloons. It's really What's up with the 56? Have a guard, go over Let's see and how they stop feel with 56. They're, happy, they're okay with 56. There's an extra 6 bucks or 5 bucks. They're doing good. They're doing good. Okay. Uh, many games try the alien landscape, uh, fauna and flora. Very few manage. I was gonna say, I was really disappointed with, um, No Man's Sky when I cough cough played it, um, ages ago. Because I, I felt like this is not alien to me. I felt more like alien with Spore. And I know a Spore is like, you know, it's a, it's a creature creator game. But it's like, No Man's Sky specifically, it's like, you're a human amongst weird alien creatures and yet it's like I'm just mining for resources and then fighting monsters sometimes maybe not actually um and then I fly a ship to the next planet and do it all again and um I know No Man's Sky is a very different game now but it's just like yeah I didn't quite get the alien feeling there if anything the fact that you know what to expect when you visit a, a planet kind of breaks the feeling doesn't it uh, they usually, uh, those that manage usually are the ones more, for the Eldritch stuffs, more than, uh, so less, uh, alien in terms of aliens, uh, but more like alien in terms of inhuman. AC manages alien. Yeah, I think it's because, like, um, at least what, what I got out of, like, Xenoclash, it's, it's, it's almost won me a golden ticket. Oh boy. The thing that I really enjoyed out of, um, Xenoclash is that, like, there were some weird, like, creatures, and you just, like, accepted them as regular, like, people. Because they're, reg they're regular people in society. And then, like, you know, it's a kind of, like, beat-down village kind of thing, but then it's like there's some weird plants from here and there. And then they'll use some weird names for people. Um, who was it? Father Mother? Uh, who was the whole central, um, character and, and effectively villain of the original game. And it's like, who is this bizarre, like person who is everyone's father mother like just everyone it's it's you know it, weird, it weirds me out but it's like it's crafty it gets it kind of it goes it goes so far into this bizarre world that like it makes sense but it's like how how do you like put it together in that way you construct the same world out of like in a different order that's the only way i can explain it yeah eternal cylinder is out in epic if you haven't seen it three or four months, I recommend not watching the trip. I can guarantee I haven't watched any of it, so the only thing I know is your description, and listen, I, I'll, I'm excited to, to give it a check later on um, in three to four months. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got that one upgraded. I've still not gotten any of the keys, and that's going to be a bit of an issue if I don't have any of them by the time uh, the stream's up, because I do want to show off the last park. Maybe I'll just try my best to get the tickets and then bail, check out the, the other park. Because I keep researching more stuff. Although I'm getting another roller coaster, so... I, I'll definitely go in as blind, because... Oh, they did early access? Ah, oh, I hate... You can't hide anything in early access anymore. Look at all these sucker kids, think they're getting a good deal, but little do they know they have to pay 50 bucks for a balloon. Okay, legit, how do, you, how do you push more visitors into your park? It just seems to be like fluctuating around like, this number, it's not getting anywhere. The only thing I could think of is, yeah, to get the total people in the park, um, this has to be hitting 150 real soon, right? Got a lot of happy visitors, I know, I know, it's almost ticket. got... Maybe that's why it keeps prompting me. Faces and it'll be yours. That has to be more than 150 happy people in the park now. 
and then happiness level of 80 well it's 74 right now how do you how do you make everyone happy other than like dipping the the value of your uh your shops why don't i just up that actually even better let's let's no one is happy with the burger shop so let's make the burger shop good quality Wherever the burger shop is. Oh, there it is. It's a snail. That's how cool it is. So, obviously increasing the quality of the goods. Um, I hadn't heard of the game before full release. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, upping the quality of the goods. Raises the cost of the goods, but that's okay if I want to drive some happiness. Visitors are really happy and they're buying tons of balloons. Well, not tons. Balloons don't weigh very much, but they're buying a lot. A whole lot. Should I buy a dedicated cleaner just for, like, that corner? Alright, uh... Rajan, there you go. You are in charge of... just here. Oh, double-check the toilets. The toilets didn't even go bad! They'll never go bad, I swear. Uh, I think the Whiplash Simulator needs a check-in. Have you seen how many costumes people are buying? Oh my gosh, that's a wave of costumes. Jeez. Let's check the... Customers at your shops Alright, they're feeling like okay. Good deal. You're a Let's see the... the... Congratulations. Okay, definitely. That's a lot of good money from... From the shops. Uh, what was the best feature in Rollercoaster Tycoon? What was the best feature of Roller Coaster Tycoon? I feel like just the the coaster designer is so good. The the pincers, uh, and that they actually coded in drowning. Yeah, the fact that people can die in Roller Coaster Tycoon did just like lead more into that God Simulator kind of mindset. Um, but it, it it's so needed because it's like all these people are so indirect. I see them walking around, and they're obviously doing stuff because like anytime they use a shop. You know, your money does go up, but it's so indirect. Like, they don't have names, they don't have anything. The the only thing you get out of your... Actually, they, they do have names. <clears throat> this screen lets you oh, sorry, no, they don't have names. Your visitors. <clears throat> they're either people with a number, or they're new visitor because they're standing here. Like, they've yet to walk in. Um, Play so many little kids happy because little kids are too stupid. Oh, exactly, yeah, yeah. We really should be paying attention to this. I'm kind of going like, okay, well, what's going on with like unhappy Bonappy right here? You're thirsty. You know, a feature, oh. as in, I'll just run to the feature and powder my Is my uh, happiness gone down? down on this feature and take a load up. Is that 70? Yeah, it's back to 70 again. Darn. But guys, I got a teapot. Oh, that's a massive teapot. That is, that teapot is massive. Do I have any room for a teapot? I do, right there. Your scientists have come up with a new raid. I'm surprised I'm still making money though. Like I never took out a loan to do this level. There's a litter bug running amok in the park. You should get a cleaner on the case and clean up the mess. I don't know if I'm going to struggle having... You, uh, Rika, having room to do another roller coaster. A ride. Oh wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah, that's good too. I probably am gonna struggle. Let's uh, let's move the flower. You've got a lot of happy visitors, and it's almost won you a golden ticket. Oh, you hear that? It's almost won me a golden ticket. A I'm almost there. Wow. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of like weird PC games from around this time that it's just like, not even not even crazy weird, but it's just like, they're just very directly fun. Uh, let's up that part. All the way. Why not? And then... Let's... Let's orient this quite the right way, because we want it to... Lean that away. And then lean that away. Look out! Look out! She's gonna blow! 
You've got a ride that's about to break down. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't don't do that with your ride. There we go. Look at that, there's one solid jump. One solid, like, dip. It's all you need to make a ride fun. And to absolutely, like, peek on the camera. I also love how it's called, what is it, the big dripper? And it's like a paint bucket. This is like the freaking ride at the end of, uh, Cat and Hat 2005. You know exactly what I mean, right? Everything's purple. Why have they done this to me? But that's gotta be good for the park value, right? It's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know, there's a lot of, like, weirdly cool... Early 2000s PC Some games. It feels like, I feel like the PC TV game is a very corporate beast match. now because... Um, not because PC is mainstream, it's always been kind of, you know, <laughs> it's always been there. But it's like, your games were... Oh, I, I let it die. There is a little problem with one of the raids. I let it die. Make that a uh, somewhat larger problem. What's the remaining Don't life worry, on some of these? Oh, they're like way. forever though. Going to be fine. Let's make Worms 3D more exciting though. Um, by making it faster. And then adding... Eureka. Four cycles, I guess. Discovered a new ride. Oh, wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Let's just, yeah, let's make these a bit That's more fun. There you go. We've researched a new raid. Upgrade. Ah. Oh yeah, Bugs TV. Everyone's favorite ride. I, I can tell you this is going to be an absolutely like, messy angle for the screenshot, for the <laughs> for the thumbnail. And it's going to be wonderful. You've got a lot of happy visitors and it's almost won, it's almost won your golden ticket. ticket. Wow. A few more faces and it'll be yours. Just, just like, just, just tick it over, boys. Just get it right over there. I, I don't know what to really, I guess people are complaining about food and drink. Let's just put another food and drink on the other side of the world. I, I don't know how to respond to any of this. Like, I don't know, there's... People think your food is great value. Nice one. Uh, what's the other drink shop? Just so I'm not charging them crazy amounts on that side. It's 35. It's 35. Okay. Uh, and fry shop, chuck it there. I think it was also 35. Uh, there's muddy terrain Texas always look like rough devs were willing to just like... Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of games with like weird terraforming and stuff. Like as much as... I'm, I'm gonna cite Spore a bit more, but I feel like, you know, Maxis has always been fairly... Um, uh, on the forefront of that. Actually, I, I'm even playing, I'm playing a bullfrog game and then I'm not even going to mention like black and white, which I know has like a lot of like terrain manipulation features. Um, I've never played it personally, but like, I know it's probably got like a ton of that going on. This is just what I need. I just need more shops, more burger fries and drinks. People complain about burger fries and drinks, but just, you know, make another burger fries and drinks. Are oh, you gonna poop some more? That's okay, I got you fam, let's we'll get you with a toilet. Uh, I have not checked on my security, I, mean, I know my security is like ab absolute garbage apparently. So let's chuck a few more security cameras in as well. Uh, da -da -da. Chuck one there. Uh, black and white, yeah, yeah. The Eye of the Dragon spells... Ah, okay. Yeah, no, I... I've never... Oh, gosh, did I just chuck a... It's a good thing I built that a bit quick. Um, yeah, no, I'd never played it. I played... Populous very briefly. I didn't quite... I need... I definitely need a... a new feature has been bit of searched. guidance on how to, to play Why? that, but... Even the features have new features. Garden Fork. Oh, it's a fork. Stick that there. Your scientists have a new set of features there available to them. Uh, a while ago, I threw away uh, most of my old games. Ah, uh, I mean, 
Granted, I have a lot of games, so it's like I probably can't run them because uh, discs, including my brand new copy of Unreal Tournament 2004. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of that. You know, every unhappy guest is just people who want food or drink. You can locate visitors by clicking them. <clears throat> so why is he like? This screen lets you see details about one of your visitors. If <clears throat> he's got to kill hungry, thirsty dead. Either the local happiness is black and white. Two is the first game. Uh, change some files. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I definitely know some people don't really like Black and White 2 as much. Um, and not... Yeah, yeah. My brain keeps latching onto Pokemon, I don't know why. It, it too has a Black and White 2. Uh, although inversely I think people are more fond of Black and White 2. Less freedom. One of your rides has broken down, but a mechanic... Oh, it, it was the ride that always breaks down, just broke down. Can't believe it. Um... The staff are happy, and if you keep them that way, they won't go and strike. Should I up that? Yeah, okay. Up the price to 61. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's always weird when a sequel, like, backpedals on, on features. Or, like, they'll, they'll have features and then they just don't have them in the sequels. Um... I sometimes feel like, you know, the games don't necessarily have to have the same feature set, but uh, it's not good when a game effectively reboots or, like, tries to, you know, continue the spirit of the original game in some way, and then they don't actually push anything new. Um, I feel like one example off the top of my head, and I, I was just looking into this, still haven't played it, is a Thief 4. Does anyone remember that from 2013 or 2014? And it's like, what does Thief 4 offer that the original Thieves don't? An experience bar? You have a new challenge. Check out the message for details. I already have a Taptastic Rapids. Well easy done. money. This is all easy money. Prize. Okay, the only thing I can think of that would like There's absolutely push running a mock in the park. You should get a cleaner on the case and clean like, up the mess. Uh <laughs> the Oh, because I'm not even getting the 300. I'm getting close. I'm getting real close. You've got a lot of but I think the only thing that would like crazy push me over is ticket. to build. It smiles on a few more faces, and it'll be yours. Have I not done a long water ride? Or expand the park's uh, space? It's, again, is that not 150 people? Hitman, the new trilogy. Yeah, the new Hitman trilogy, it does, it actually does a good job of being the same, um, uh, the same spirit of a game, um, even if it is a reboot. I'm not the biggest fan of the original, uh, sorry, the, of, uh, Tomb Raider 2013. Um, if I keep playing through Tomb Raiders, uh, I'll get around to 2013 and I'll, I'll definitely go, like, I don't like it. That being said, I really, I, I thought Rise of the Tomb Raider was a lot better. I thought there was a lot more, um, you know, a lot, a lot less focus on Lara being psychologically tormented, although she does still do that quite a bit. Um, but, uh, there's a lot more tombs in Rise of the Tomb Raider, and you have more weapons going on. And it's still, you know, the, the remake, but it's also, like, the, the the spirit is there. Also, there's a bit more supernatural stuff going on in it, so that seems to be a, a, a trend. They've got that. But somewhere they tried to find evidence, conclusive source, that back when a young programmer who has the mind behind black and white creature AI, a super advanced later, came one of the lead devs behind Google DeepMind. Have you seen the video by Josh Strife Hayes on the original Tomb Raider? I have not. I have not. The original Tomb Raider, I love it so much. Uh, so much so that it has been one of. Uh, apparently like 15 games I've played on my channel since I've started doing streaming. Um, I'll give it a check out. I'll give it a check out. Well, I can safely say I'm amazed that I have made money in this park. I, I was on the verge of, like, collapse, and then I have managed to pull through without, like, without resorting to drugs or finances. I've just, I've just gone 
gone straight in. And there's a park full of kids who I can gouge for more money by charging $63. Is he okay? Yeah, okay, with 63, they're going right in. He opened, which surely remember going through the ruins on the T-Rex. Oh, the undead centaurs are the best part of the game. Oh my gosh, this is actually a lot of people. Is this going to boost me over 300? No! My park value just dipped. You've got a lot of happy visitors, and it's almost won you a golden ticket. Listen, I got the first few people at 63 bucks. And it'll be you. I, the, I'm always upset because the bus pulls up here, and you think it's going to let off a lot of people, but no, it's just like letting people cross the road. Like, too many people have left in the time that, like, more people arrived. It'll get there. It'll get there. But I, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the stream after it's done with June. You've won a gold. Holy ticket. snap! Congratulations. We're all very proud. We, we're all very proud. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Well, I must have hit it at some point. Um. I'm gonna see what happens as well if you if you expand the park real crazy. Because here's the thing, is that like you keep your golden tickets, I believe. I'm not too sure if you keep your golden tickets if you load a save. Because your saves are, are only um they only apply to the the park. So like I can I can save I mean, yeah, you saw me earlier, it's like there's only like two saves on this park, because it's all research. the ones that- Yeah, care Pencil! Yeah! Yeah! Videos must cuts with fresh voiceover, and then go in depth on the game design, the good, the bad, the special, and the revolutionary. Yeah, I- I've always been curious about like, um, videos like that, and half wanted to kind of make some of my own, but then it's like, I don't know, it's a, it's a lot of effort, and I don't feel like I'm offering, uh, really anything too amazing. And I kind of prefer just, you know, the full casual playthroughs because you get to see the game, what's and all. Is this going to let off some new people? No, it's just going to pick up the new busload of kids who are just chilling out there. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. It's, it's come down already. I don't need as many people in the park now. Although, 100%, that's more than 150 people, right? That's got to be more than 150 people who are happy. This kid dying. One of your rides is about to break down. Take cover! Or I suppose you could fix it. That is not one of the rides, that is multiple of the rides. Do be like that. Do be like that. A lot of people like their drinks. Seems to be a thing. Uh I I will say some of the levels in the original Tomb Raider. We've researched a new uh, upgrade. Oh, yeah, some people do that. Too. Some people do do that. Um, I don't know if I've got the original source footage for, like, everything that I've done now. I've got, I've still got the edited stuff with my, um, commentary, like, layered on it. But I don't know if I've got the source video. I'll double check. Because, yeah, I, I record all of these with the, um, with my mic separate. So, if I do want to pull something out, I'll do that. Although I do know, like, some people, like, um, uh... I want to say the, uh... Eureka! I'll say Angry we'll Joe, I know that off the top of my head. Ride. And it's just like, I know all of his videos, like... He uses his Twitch streams as his, uh... Um... As a source, it's and then the it's just like... New age. It's clearly got him <laughs> talking in his Twitch streams. In his footage. Two people? Nah, man, you could support seven people with that. Well, there aren't enough mechanics to service all of the rides. Maybe you should think about hiring some more. Alright, let's chuck, let's chuck and Andy on it. Is that Andy? David. That was David. Alright, I'm gonna save here, and then I'm just gonna like, absolutely like, crazy expand the park. Like, real crazy, like, we're just gonna go into here, and just go buy land, and we're just gonna see what to happens. buy an area of land, first click on the ground where you want one corner of the area to be. Then, move oh the boy, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. <clears throat> Some joker is littering around. Okay, let's let's unload that. Let's go for the other. <laughs> let's go for the other one. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, there's the auto save as well, which is from when I started. Two saves. Be happy now. There's two saves. 
Alright, uh, number two, let's, let's, uh, take, oh, there's a, there's a crazy loan, 65 grand, let's do it. The reason why I want to do it is because then I'm going to build a water ride. The big dripper is a log flume, but I want Taptastic Rapids, and I'm just going to connect that, and we're just going to do that. We're going to go around, we're going to go down, we're going to go up. Uh, down, up, up we go, cross, up, down, cross, loop, do loop, uh, why did I build a really long ride because I'm pretty sure I'll get a golden ticket if someone goes on this ride right there it is you won a golden ticket and got a golden key to boot I was like I need the one for the long water ride so now if I go back to to save there it is golden ticket five keys I've done it I've done it <laughs> I guess I was like oh no, this, park, this park's too good to, to waste on a terrible ride like that but it's like hey that's enough so now if I exit to the lobby we've got one park left and I have enough keys to open it up I did it I did it no worries no worries <laughs> we're all good so okay so one last stream uh that I will do next week where we'll play the space zone and uh show off the last area of the game and I know people really like the space zone so anyways with that I would like to thank you so very much for watching if you did enjoy the stream you can follow uh where i will stream this time next week not exactly not space um i'll stream this time next week and i'll also you know the vods end up on youtube uh also you can subscribe to youtube uh, a lot of people are <laughs> exactly exactly poor tim curry tim curry's got a good legacy so i appreciate the stuff that he has done um uh, but yeah, no, the, the VODs will end up on YouTube. Uh, really apologize for a lot of frames dropping right at the beginning of the stream. Uh, it will not be in the VOD because I edit those myself out of the source material that I record. So that's all good. Uh, and if you're an absolute stranger who has stumbled upon these streams, uh, note that people just type Theme Park World into YouTube and find them. So that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, so if, if you've enjoyed it, it means a lot to me and hopefully it means a lot to you. Uh, so stay safe, eat your greens, Find copies of Unreal Tournament 2004 at local book fairs or something along the lines. Just have, uh, have a good time. Keep on keeping on, everyone.